For quiz number one practice for unit five, um, it's over the graphing method. So for number one, um, he says use the graphing method to find the solution of the linear system. So and they are worth four points each. So we need to go ahead and graph the first one starting at negative one. Then I will rise to run one. Rise to run one. We also can go down to left one and draw our line. Okay, then in the second problem, we start with that last number, positive one, and our slope is one over one. So I'm going to rise one, run one, rise, run, and then just keep doing that as well as going the opposite. So down one, left one. And we see that the two lines have one intersection point, which is at two, three, okay? So at two, three, that is the point of intersection, which is considered a one solution, okay? In number two, I graph this one starting with that positive three on the y-axis. We go up two, right three, down two, left three, down two, left three, draw your line. And then the second equation, we have to put that in slope intercept form. So we're just going to move the x over. So we're going to add 3x to both sides. And we get y equals 3x minus 4. So we're going to begin at negative 4. And rise 3, run 1. And in this one, we can't go down because we'll be off the graph. So we're just going to leave it here. And our point is 3, 5. In number 3, um, I see that my slopes are exactly the same. So I know that these should be parallel lines, which means the answer is no solution. But I need to go ahead and graph them to get my full credit. So I'm going to start at negative 5 on the y and then rise to run 3. Okay, then at positive 3, we're going to rise to run 3, then also go down to left 3. And as we can see, they are parallel lines. The lines don't touch which is no solution. In number four, uh, we have the exact same equations. So that means that you have the same line, which then is many solutions. So we'll start at positive two, and the slope is one third, so I will rise one and run three. Also down one, left three. Okay. For number five, I'm going to graph the first one and I see that that would be greater than, which is a dashed line. So I'll put D for dashed. It's greater, which means you shade above. For less than or equal to, um, the equal to means that it's a solid line. Less means that you shade down. Okay. So for the first one, I'm going to start at negative 5. And I'm going to rise 3, run to the right 1. Okay. And we said that we should make that dashed.
Okay, and it's shaded above, so I go to where I started, and above is up. So I see that this side of the line would be shaded. And you're thinking that this entire side, this entire section, is blue. Okay, but if I put all blue there, then it becomes, it becomes a little confusing. So then for the second equation, we start at positive 2, and we're going up 2, right 3, down to left three. And for that one, it's supposed to be a solid line. And it says less than, which is down. So this side of the graph is shaded. So I'm looking to see what part has an overlap of shading, okay? So if I look here, this section would just be pink. This is nothing. This part is blue, so this part is blue. But here, in this like triangular section, we have blue and pink coming together, so this would be shade darker because this is the actual solution to the system. Okay? And then lastly, for the number 6 through 13, you're just graphing the points um, and to see if they land in the, the shaded area or the white area. Well, white area is no. 3, negative 2, no. Negative 2, 4, yes. 1, 5, yes, it's in the shaded area. 0, negative 3, no, because it's a dashed line and it's in the white area. It's never an answer if it's on the dashed line. 4, 3, no. Negative 3, positive 2, yes. And negative 5, 5, yes.